This is my open source polyphonic digital modular synthesizer, known as the Polymod. It's designed to be a cheap, alternative, hackable route into modular synthesis using digital technology uh, rather than analog. It makes all kinds of sounds from simple to nice and dirty. downright weird. And just like a traditional modular synthesizer, it's completely customizable. You can start with just one module, in this case an oscillator. You push it into a free mounting point in the case and secure it with thumb screws. Then you turn on the power, plug the synth into an amplifier, and use a standard patch cable to connect the oscillator to the synthesizer's master output socket. You can then adjust the oscillator's parameters using the knobs on the module. For this prototype, I've made a selection of standard modules that you might find in a normal synthesizer. As well as the oscillator, there's a filter, an amplifier, an envelope, a low frequency oscillator, a lo-fi bit crusher effect, and a noise generator. Here you can see a time lapse of me fitting all the modules into the case. As you can see, you don't need any tools to customise the synth. Once all the modules are in place, you can start to create complex sounds by connecting the modules together. So far, this design looks pretty similar to a traditional analog modular synthesizer. Uh, in an analog modular synth, each cable carries a single electrical signal, uh, meaning that it's difficult to move beyond playing one note at a time, like this. However, because this design is entirely digital, and all of the audio processing is done on a chip inside the synth, it's possible to switch instantly from monophonic mode into polyphonic mode. In this special mode, four virtual copies of each module are created, and every time you plug in a patch cable, it's treated as four separate parallel connections. This allows you to play chords and harmonies in a way that is very difficult and expensive to achieve in a traditional modular setup. Another advantage of this setup is that anyone who can write code can create their own modules for this system. Each module in this synth is basically identical, apart from the number of knobs and sockets, so you don't need to design any circuitry yourself. To make your own custom module, you would simply assemble a module according to a standard design, give it a unique identification number, then write code that tells the module how to process audio and upload this code to the synth via the USB port. This process would obviously still require some technical skills, but it's arguably a much simpler and cheaper process than designing and building an analog module from scratch. Overall, I'm really happy with how this prototype has worked out. Uh, I think it demonstrates well the possibility of using fully digital modular synthesis in the realm of hardware rather than software, and it produces some really interesting sounds. Uh, I really hope that other people use my code and instructions to build their own similar synthesizers, and I particularly hope that people start to share code for their own unique module designs, uh, so that this project can become the start of an open source library of digital modules rather than just a one-off prototype. Finally, I just want to say a big thank you to Paul Stoffrigan for creating the Teensy Audio Library, uh, which I use as the basis for this project. And good luck to all the other semi-finalists in the Hackaday Prize. Thanks for watching. <laughs>